Hello everyone, welcome to another Kuro no Kiseki video. So for this video, Falcom just released the mini soundtrack for Kuro no Kiseki. So we'll go ahead and give that a listen as well as kind of look at all the screenshots that they're kind of showing throughout the video. But first we'll listen to the soundtrack, see what we think, and then probably kind of analyze the screenshots a little bit more after we're done. So let's just get started. Okay, so they're showing eight for this. And I think for Trails into Reverie, they did six. Okay, so for their first song, this should undoubtedly be the opening theme of the game. You know, the more I listen to it, I think it's- the more I think it's pretty okay. It's not great, and it's not bad. I'm a little more than neutral on this song. I think it's pretty okay. I don't think I could listen to it without the vocals though. The vocals help it a lot. Okay, so for the second theme, I think this is probably one of their boss themes. That definitely sounds like a boss theme to me. Yeah, I can get behind this one. Yeah, this is this is the stuff that I like. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, so for Thar Bad Night, this is probably going to be one of the first, you know, town slash roaming themes we hear in the game. Probably after we exit, like, you know, the first area of the game, which is probably going to be our starting area. I do like how it sounds. when we going into a strip club. Uh. Number four sounds like, you know, casual moments kind of theme song. I wonder who that is. Unmitigated Evil. So this is probably another boss theme. Or sorts. Okay, not bad. Rise of Grand Mill. Okay, so this is probably when Vaughn transforms. So we... I'll talk about it afterwards.
Sounds okay. Yokoso something something something. And another casual theme. Probably in town somewhere or something. with this one. Oh, I really want to hear more of number eight. Oh, that one got me interested. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, <laughs> they're playing. That's the, um, in case some of you don't know. Um, they played this little bit right here, literally on the, when they show the Falcom logo. This was a song that was played during one of the episodes in Trails and Tribery, but for some of you who have not played the game, I don't really want to delve too deep into that, but I'll just tell you straight up, this is a song that plays in there. And I won't really give you guys any context beyond that, but kind of neat. Okay, so now that we've kind of gave the soundtrack a little bit of a lesson, let's kind of look through all the screenshots that have popped up throughout this video. because Some of them have really caught my interest. So for this first one, and we'll probably see this very early in the game. It's probably when we get right to introduce to Vaughn. And then Agnes, her school uniform, holding her all important item. Probably one of the central plot points of the game. And we have Fetty. I would assume she's doing a craft of sorts. And I guess on here, they it's some sort of show with swords. And here we have Reset, kind of... I think that's an enemy or something? I can't really tell. But this is probably like a cutscene or something. With the Reset and whatever the hell this is supposed to be. And then we have Quatra. Just with his AI. And then we have Judith here with a bunch of whammon. Got Burgard on a motorcycle. One thing I'm looking forward to is uh, seeing how they animate vehicles on their new engine. <laughs> Hopefully it'll look a lot better, right? And here we got, definitely got one of our antagonists here. And then finally a little screenshot of a battle scene. So what do we got here? We got party of Vaughn, Burgard, Judith, and Aaron. Now we have Sao here. They're in the middle. They're in turn order right now, and they have Sao. I mean, excuse me, Aaron, Sao, Vaughn, Judith, and Burgard. This is a bit weird because Sao's there. So is he just doing things on his own? Is that what's happening? And from the looks of it, this thing is level 57. So this is probably like a mid to late game enemy. Probably a boss even. Um, now, I'll be honest, if there's anything I'm actually looking forward to is finally seeing new enemies. Because we had about 10 games of seeing like 90% of the same enemies over and over and over again. And hopefully we can kind of see some new things on the eastern side of the continent, right? Hopefully. So for this screenshot, I can kind of talk a little bit more about, especially for the, the person on the left. So a while back, she kind of just appeared randomly when they finally showed, you know, stuff when you pre-order the game. 
and we didn't really get too much information regarding her aside from the fact that she's Ortezia and she is the number four in the Growl's Ritter. But here we can actually get another better, better, much better look at her actually. And from the looks of it, uh, she wields a great sword, but looking at the way it is, is it's like a Templar version of a great sword, like a Templar great sword or something. If you guys remember Reese's weapon uh, back in Trails the Third, but interesting. And on her, on the right, it's probably another member of the Grails Ritter as well. But it's kind of cool. Finally, get to kind of hopefully know more about them throughout this game. And here we have Aaron and then Vaughn going at the nightclub of Lelouch. Oh yes. And then Vaughn with a stripper in the back. There she is. And we have Fairy talking to her big brother. I know there was some information about a bunch of side characters that was released like about last week. And I didn't really make a video about it. But I guess maybe when there's another big call of information or some more, you know, sub characters and all that. I'll probably include them too, just kind of briefly over all of them. But yeah, this is her big brother, uh, Fairy's big brother, excuse me. And we have Agnes talking to male and female. But honestly, what caught my eye in this photograph or the screenshot, excuse me, was the car in the background. It looks very detailed. Surprised about the amount of detail that's on it. And I don't really need to explain or say who this probably is. Many of you should already guess who this individual is. And she has most certainly grown in very specific parts of her body. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to be very, very happy about that. And moving on. For this screenshot, they... I can't really tell, but... The blade is very similar to kind of what Sharon uses. This is probably another antagonist of ours. And then probably two more antagonists. Uh, I can't really make out what his tattoo says. My eyes aren't very good, sorry. So this is definitely the big bad dude of the evil people of this game, probably. We got the snake eyes and everything. And we've seen this one, this screenshot already, of Vaughn transforming into his Grendel. And we kind of get a look at how he is in combat with it now, though. And surprisingly, he learns it very early, considering this enemy is level 7. So he straight up transforms and it alters all of his skills, looks like. Fortunately, we can't really see further than that. I'd really like to see what it looks like up here, too. I guess this is him doing one of his crafts. Slows. Agnes talking to her. He's also part of like the information batch from last week, which I didn't really make a video of. I think same with this guy. And Yuna, this little girl as well. Basically this little family. And a screenshot of Vaughn. And here we have him talking to Elaine. And this should be the last screenshot. It's probably just Mara being like, hey, you can transform into the Grendel now. I'll show you how you can do it. And that's it. There you go. Yeah, well, like what I was talking about with Ortezia, it's her right here. This kind of just a random reveal out of nowhere. But yeah, that's it. So when they release more sub-character information, I guess I can include the people that I missed from last week into whatever they show for the newest batch. But look forward to that, I suppose. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider giving a video like if you haven't already. And please can do consider subscribing as it would definitely help out this channel a lot. Also, please do consider following me on Twitch, Twitter, or joining my Discord. Links for all of those will be down in the description. So thank you guys once again so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.